Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this compound shape such that this angle A is 23 degrees and moreover, this uh, line segment AB equal to this line segment BC equal to this line segment CD equal to this line segment DE and now we are going to calculate these angles X and Y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. So before we proceed, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC. And we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this side is same as this side. So therefore, if this angle is 23 degrees, this angle has got to be 23 degrees as well. So the our angle ACB turns out to be 23 degrees. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem. And here's our exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. In this case, this X is our exterior angle and that is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles alpha and beta. So therefore, our this angle is going to be exterior angle and that is going to be the sum of these two interior angles. 23 degrees plus 23 is going to make 46 degrees. So thus our angle CBD turns out to be 46 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle BCD. And we know that this is an isosceles triangle as well, since this side length equals to this side length. So therefore, if this angle is 46 degrees, then this angle has got to be 46 degrees as well. So thus our angle BDC turns out to be 46 degrees. This next step, let's focus on this triangle ACD. And now let's recall exterior angle theorem once again. According to this theorem, this is our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. Let's go ahead and add them up. If we add them, that is going to be 69 degrees. So therefore our angle DCE turns out to be 69 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle CDE. This is an isosceles triangle since this side length equal to this side length. So therefore this angle has got to be equal to this angle. If this angle is 69 degrees, this angle is going to be 69 degrees as well. So thus our angle CED turns out to be 69 degrees. And in this next step, let's recall this straight angle property. This whole angle from here to here is 180 degrees. And that is going to be equal to the sum of these two individual angles Y and this 69 degrees. So therefore we can write Y plus 69 degrees equal to 180 degrees. And now let's go ahead and subtract 69 degrees from both sides to solve for y. This 69 degrees and this negative 69 degrees is gone. So y turns out to be 111 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's consider this triangle ADE. And once again, let's recall exterior angle theorem. And we can see that this X is in our exterior angle and that is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles, 23 degrees plus 69 degrees. So therefore I can write X equals to 23 degrees plus 69 degrees. If we add these one, that is going to give us 
92 degrees. So thus our angles turned out to be x equal to 92 degrees and y equals to 111 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.